Things are getting so bad for the Marvels that Disney is getting desperate. They are pulling some absolutely ridiculous moves to try to bolster you to go see their pathetic film. And, well, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us, it's not going to work. They can send all of the vilification that they want our way. They can try to continue to make you feel some sort of guilt for not seeing their movie, and it's not going to work in the way that they're hoping that it will. And the the truth of the matter is that this is the result of embracing the woke feminist identity politics agenda that is so rampant in Hollywood. And it isn't just about trying to diversify things. There is a more nefarious agenda at, at, at heart here for Hollywood, which is why, despite the fact that they are continuing to fail in the box office, there are no plans to course correct. Sparking crazy news like this just from a couple days ago, Disney's putting together a new feminist young Avengers team, proving they learned nothing from the Marvel's box office office bomb. Hollywood is very much focused on the long game here, and the long game in their minds relies on you and just our society in general getting to the point where we are so conditioned to all of this type of insanity that we will just blindly consume whatever type of nonsense they give us. Today we have some absolutely hilarious news because some celebrities are coming forward to try to convince you to go see this atrocity in theaters. Heather Antos, Gail Simone, and Kelly Sue DeConnick encourage their fans to see the Marvels demean individuals with opposing opinions. This is absolutely wild, are actively trying to gatekeep fan opinions, imploring them to see the movie and to be quiet about the criticisms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This tweet, by the way, got absolutely obliterated on Twitter. She got completely destroyed for this really, really stupid opinion. It's really interesting to me that it's all men who very are actively hating on the Marvels. The movie isn't perfect. Read my review for my thoughts, but it doesn't deserve the hate many men are giving it. <laughs> <laughs> which, if you go and look at this tweet, I think it's still up, I don't think she deleted it, which is kind of shocking because she got completely ratioed. If you go and look at this tweet, in the replies, you can see just woman after woman being like, you are so wrong about this, I, I am not a fan of anything that is happening in the MCU right now. But it's all just men, guys. It's all just men. Well, that is the gaslighting narrative that they are trying to push out there. But it gets even worse. Gail Simone says, Good lord, let people like things. No one is saying that you can't like the Marvels. I'm just out here giving my opinion on it. That's kind of the way that this works. That's the way that it's always worked, except for communist types like you who like to control anyone else's opinions out there. Honestly, I have lost interest in the MCU for ages now. Maybe it's a good and fun film, but I won't be watching it. And Gail Simone says, important news. And then Emma responds and says, called an opinion. What's, it's what adult express regularly on this platform. If you want to respond stupidly, then that's your choice, of course, and reflects on your character. I'm just lucky you didn't accuse me of some kind of misogyny for not wanting to watch yet another MCU film. Maybe this is a good and fun tweet, but I won't be reading it. We all know she read it. We all know that she read it, right? Like, come on. Come on, she read it. She read that tweet. We all know it. Okay, so then we have Heather Antos, who's saying, The Marvels is the most fun I've had in a superhero film in a very long time. Guys, this movie, The Marvels, it's like, it's, it's like the second coming of Christ, guys. This is the film that everyone needs to watch. You need to watch The Marvels, my friends. Do not miss out. <laughs> Like, the desperation is just pathetic. It's just so pathetic to watch. We have to boost those numbers up, and the only way we can do it is by begging people to go see our movie! Maybe if the movie was actually just like a, a, I don't know, crazy, a good movie, we wouldn't have to be in this mess. But, with all of that being said, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.